It's still a construction site and it's two years behind schedule. But even so, the transformation here is amazing. 10 years ago, when I was near the site, all you could see was literally the pile, a massive pulverized glass and steel. All that was left of the Twin Towers. Now, this is one of two voids. The voids have been built over the footprint of the Twin Towers. They are massive waterfalls with sides of granite. They go down 10 meters. Water pours over the side, it vanishes into the void below. Alongside are panels. Uh, these, these panels have the names of the 3,000 people, bronze panels that had the names of the 3,000 people who died that day. The architect Michael Arad, who designed the city, wanted to capture the sense of loss and renewal. It was about marking absence, about making what is no longer here visible and present, and creating this, these two vast voids which we can stand at the edge of, but never occupy. Um, and when you walk up to the edge of these voids, that's where you encounter the names of the victims. And I think it's a moment uh, that will be incredibly moving, of walking up to the edge of these voids, standing um, at that threshold, at that line that separates the living from the dead, and seeing this enormous space beyond that you can only look at and never enter. This is the 39th floor of One World Trade Center. It's a massive new skyscraper that's being built near to where the Twin Towers used to be. There are 78 floors completed so far. When it's done, there will be over 100 floors. At a cost of $3 billion, it will soar over the New York skyline like the Twin Towers. It will be America's tallest skyscraper. It's so unlike most cities that are filled with skyscrapers, there's room between the buildings. In lower Manhattan, you can barely see the sky. You're always at the bottom of, of, this, of these chasms. And to imagine walking through that fabric of lower Manhattan where you can barely see the sky and out onto this big open clearing. And if we would have set this site as uh, nothing but a memorial, something that was cut off from the life of the city, it would, uh, it would atrophy and become uh, disconnected from the life of the city. And, and I think diminish the experience of visiting this memorial. The site opens to the public on September 12, but it'll be restricted access. This place will be a construction zone for years to come. Because of that, people have to register in advance to come here. Hundreds of thousands of people have done this. The waiting list is months long. When the site is finished and open to the public, they estimate there'll be up to 5 million visitors to the World Trade Center Memorial site each year.